will happen if there's no more filibuster, right? This is this is the this is the thing that that you know some Democrats who are concerned about the filibuster are saying. Well, let me give you an example first of all of how destructive the filibuster is. Back in 2012. In, at Sandy Hook, there was this slaughter of 21st graders and six adults at the Sandy Hook Elementary School. And in response to that, Senators Joe Manchin and Pat Toomey, Democrat of West Virginia, Republican of Pennsylvania, put together a, a fairly modest bill that simply increased the use of background checks to, to purchase weapons. 55 senators co-sponsored that legislation. Uh, an obvious and clear majority, as did 80 to 90 percent of the American public, depending on which opinion poll you were looking at. But Republicans, beholden to the gun industry, filibustered the bill and killed it by requiring 60 votes. There is so much good legislation. There's a link in my article, actually, to to uh, to a piece that uh, from the Brennan Center for Justice that documents how right up until around the 1990s, late 1990s, early 2000s, the filibuster was actually very rarely used and the Senate would typically pass over a thousand pieces of legislation a year. Now the filibuster is constantly used and the Senate is passing fewer than 200 pieces of legislation a year and that includes things like naming post offices. So the filibuster, first of all, is completely out of control and has been used almost exclusively by one party. But what about, oh, hey, the Republicans want to uh, undo Obamacare. And the Democrats' last hope is the filibuster in the Senate to stop them. I say, I believe in democracy. If the Republicans control the House and the Senate and the White House, and they want to do away with Obamacare, let them do it. Let them deal with the consequences of that. Let it blow up in their damn faces. Just, I mean, look at what's happening in Texas right now, outlawing abortion. It's provoking a national debate. It's hurting the Republicans. Sometimes when they get what they want, it hurts them. Instead, that right now they're hiding behind the filibuster. Oh, we couldn't end Obamacare. Sorry, Republican donors and voters. We couldn't end Obamacare because of the filibuster. The evil Democrats stopped us. And the, Repo and the Democrats say that, oh, we, we couldn't do climate change or raise taxes because the evil Republicans stopped us. This is wrong, this filibuster. It needs to go.